All right, so the R99 versus the Alternator, which is better, Apex Season 12. It's actually been a while since both these guns have been on floor loot, so I figured we'd kind of do a video on it and discuss it. So, we're going to go over the three major things of which you need when deciding which gun to pick up. Time to kill, damage output, how much is a full mag with gold and without a mag, like when you first picked up off the ground. And we're going to go over a hip fire accuracy. By the way, at the end, I'm going to show you why I pick one of these guns over the other. And it's a pretty neat tip, like if you didn't think about it. So let me know in the comments. Also, this is just my opinion. It's just what we're going over. So let's go over hip fire accuracy first. We'll go R99. Not a crazy distance, just this distance. About pretty middle. I'm not going to adjust the joystick, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's let it rip. Okay. Not, not too bad about half shield, not adjusting it at all. Let's try it again. Pretty much the same thing. Right, and I'll tell you why I did that in a minute. Let's finish them off. Let's just look at the alternators. Um, pretty much same spot or whatever. Uh, and I'm not gonna adjust the joystick. Here we go again. That's insanely accurate. Look at it. I'm gonna do it again so you can see it. Look how accurate this is. I'm not adjusting the joystick. That's insanely accurate. And I know what you're thinking, Ty. When you're playing the games, you're gonna be, you're of course gonna be moving around. You're gonna be adjusting the joystick and everything. Yeah, I get that. But if it's this accurate while not moving at all imagine how accurate it is even when in the fights that's why i'm gonna go with i'm gonna put hit by accuracy for the alternator it is so accurate it's crazy it's just the recoil pattern doesn't move when i shoot from a distance kind of look at this just slide up and watch i'll slide up and then it just kind of levels out it just stays right there but if you look at the r9s it's kind of like an upward l pattern up and then kind of sprays off in the distance like, it, I shot it from here, and it sprayed all the way up there, which is fine. I'm hit firing it, but I, that's why I'm going to give the alternator a hit fire accuracy. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give that one to the alternator. It's just crazy. It's insanely accurate for, for no reason at all. Just fires them. So let's go to time to kill. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we all, we all pretty much know which time to kill is going to be. It's going to be the R99. It's been the king of quick, silent time to kill deaths since the game came out. It obliterates health, shields, everything. It's one of those guns where... If someone sneaks up on you and just releases a full mag, next thing you know, your shield's all gone and you're dead. Or you have no shield, or you have 50 health left. Obliterates it insanely fast. I believe all body shots time to kill is like 1.11 seconds with the R99. Now the alternate, you can see it takes significantly longer. I think it's like 2.37 seconds. So like 2 seconds and like 37 milliseconds, of course. Nothing crazy, but in the game like Apex, that time to kill with the R9, when you just melt their health and they're gone, and you can full elim and armor swap before another team pushes it on you, is insanely useful, as opposed to those extra few seconds the alternator might take when it's going to kill them someone. That extra few seconds allows the enemy to push on you and you don't get the armor swap off. It, it's crazy just what a few seconds can do, but I'm going to give the the time to kill for the R9. It has been the king as reign supreme. Of time to kill I'm just insanely fast at erasing shields and health since the game came out the last category i want to talk about is actually damage output so for a body shot for let's go the r9 is 11 am i right 11 headshot is 17 i believe yep so 11 and 17 not too bad nothing crazy but i mean with the the fire rate it, it makes up for it let's go alternator body shot Okay, body shot 16. Headshot is 24, which is actually insane. You can just watch it chunk the health away. Just, the shield's gone just by hitting the headshots. And one other thing I want to point out about that, because I'm going to do a full mag here in a second so you guys can see how much damage it actually outputs. An R99 headshot, oh my gosh, is almost equivalent to an alternator body shot. 16 seconds. That's just crazy to think about. But let's see how it is. No mag. Damage output, every round hit, we'll go on the blue target right here. What do we got? Uh, I missed a few. Uh, imagine that. 220. Let's hit it again to make sure I didn't miss any. 220. Okay. But the comment down below which one you like more and which one you prefer. This is just my opinion, what I've seen so far. And I'm going to give you that secret tip here in a second. So we got 220, R99, no mag. Alternate, let's check it out. 304. Okay, that's actually quite a bit. So 304 no mag alternator and 220 r99 so the mag on reload went from 19 to 27 and we went from 20 to 27 as well 
So R99 has one additional round in the mag uh, from pickup. Let's go 27 rounds, full gold mag, 297. Did I miss one? Let's double check. Okay, 297. Wait, so two, okay, so the R99's gold mag is not putting out as much damage as an alternator with no mag. Let's see how much this damage comes out. 432. That's a lot. That's a lot. So 432 damage with a gold mag arc alternator. I'm going to set it wrong. That's insane. That's almost enough to drop two fully red shield enemies. It, actually, it might be. That's an insane amount of damage to push out. Um, damage output single bullet wise is alternator. And also overall damage output is insane. 304 with no mag for a, a ground weapon just to pick up. That's a lot of damage. That is so forgiving when you get shooting someone. You miss a few rounds. You got to come back in. Shoot some more. Miss some more. It's so forgiving as opposed to the R9. When you're spraying, miss a few, come back in, try and get more damage off. It is so much easier and so much more forgiving when you miss shots with the alternator. Um, so I'm going to put the alternator as better than the R99 this season. It, it's crazy. By the way, subscribe because I'm going to do uh, best shotguns next. But just as a heads up, this is why I also would pick the alternator over the R99. So right now, the R99 shines. On metas when shotguns are bad when shotguns aren't being used you want to use the r99 because it's so up close it's the best up close weapon gun in the game but since shotguns are in a pretty decent spot right now and we have pretty good hop ups for them as well people are running them more often so that's why i also like the alternator because it's so much better at closing that mid to close range gap the all 99 shreds at close enough super close distance but it's harder to hit once you get further back the alternator's slower rate of fire just allows you to control the recoil more Keeps the shotguns at bay as opposed to right now if you're up close to an r99 you're gonna shred you're gonna do good but you also have the chance of running into a shotgun and dealing getting hit with 60 damage 80 damage right off the bat that's why i'm picking the alternator let me know in the comments though. it's just my opinion on what i discovered this season because it's been a while since the alternator has been on the floor loop with the r99 as well what do you guys think in the comments are you running the r99 or are you running the alternator i want to know let's have a discussion by the way if you guys want to take your fat ass chubby hands and click subscribe i'm literally going to eat every single one of you out we're so close to 200 subs i'm trying to get it by the end of february every sub counts i appreciate it so much guys thank you see you in the next video we're doing shotguns next